Okay, this is a PT Cruiser, which also has well, which has a overheating problem. An attempt to diagnose it. So here, there's some coolant here on the valve, the valve cover. So I don't know if the cap is leaking or not, or if the coolant fans are coming on. So I'm gonna start up and see what happens. All right, the oil light is, is on. on it. Okay, the oil light is on. On it says that all the gauges were on and it's overheating. So I'm gonna check the oil diff stick and see what that reads. Okay, reading pretty good. In the safe zone, could add a little more, but it's not bad. So all levels is okay. What I have is some coolant leaking here. Off the oil pan. So I gotta find out where that leak is coming from. Um it's dripping here. So I'm gonna take this wheel off and uh See if this comes from the water pump or not. Another thing on this car, another thing on this car is this cooling fan is coming on. Uh, they use it on the PPT, so they use the cycle a lot, on and off. So it could be just a bad relay in here. And that fluid down there is just dripping from a previous overheating. I was the oil cap, the engine oil light went off, so I reinstalled it, and it uh, stayed off. Could be some with the PCV valve, and the cooling fan still has it come on. I'm going to wait to get the uh, no operation temperature and see if it's in. It could be just a bad reader right now. Okay, the temperature gauge is normal. Uh, still no cooling fan coming on. If it gets a little hotter, it doesn't come on, it's the cooling fan. Then I'm going to check the relays and fan motor to see if it works right. Okay, looking at the relays. Uh, this top one here is radiator fan, 40 amps. Fuse looks good. This is the relay for the cooling fan. Uh, since it's a turbo, it doesn't have one up here. So, um, this is radiator fan high uh, relay. So, we need to test out uh, both relays and uh, One here it's the high, it's low, and uh, see what we get. Okay, I got the uh, cooling fan connected to the battery. It has the same fan motor words. This must be the low side. I need a fan on. That side is working. I'm going to connect the high side, test to see if that side is working. Okay, I got it connected to the high side and there's no power to the high side. Could be a bad fan motor. I want to test the relays and see if I got voltage from the relay. Okay, and this one I got a, some test relays on here. Okay, for not low speed, I got nothing from the cooling fan. Nothing came on. Okay, from the high speed,
Previous test it only worked on the one side, so I'm thinking it might be the blower fan motor that's a uh, malfunction. I'm going to take the test the connections going to the fan and see if there's power there. Okay, I got it connected to the um, high-speed fan relay turned on. around my uh, tester see where I got power to the switch light is on so I got power coming to the switch on one side so that side is the one that's working I'm gonna test the low side next okay I got the low speed fan uh, relay turned on got a, uh, something to hold the pin in there and I'm going to test the other side of the connector to see if we got power from low speed side, low side and we have power to the low side so that can confirm that the uh, cooling fan is bad that's probably what's causing the overheating problem going to get a cooling fan and uh, see if that works for him. It should work. Okay, I'm diagnosing the cooling system on this 04 PT Cruiser. There's a problem with the uh, cooling fan. So I'm going to need to drain part of the uh, radiator fluid and uh, take all this off and move part of the battery. That's what I'm going to start with to get to the cooling fan. Okay, what I've done is I took out the battery, took the battery tray, so this fan can move out of here just a little bit easier. You still got this uh, frame here. It might get in the way, but it'll be a little easier. I'm draining the engine coolant just below the top radiator neck of uh, radiator hose. And, uh, that should be enough for me to take the radiator cooling fan out. Okay, take off the grill. And, uh, so to remove this cross member here to easily access the radiator cooling fan. Take off this radiator hose too. That'll help you reach it easy. Cross member, you gotta take off these bolts here. I took these off and it just hang off of this cord here. Or you can take these bolts off. Uh, you got three bolts here, three bolts on the other side. And um comes right off of there. And it lets you get access to the radiator. Um, got this hose to lean this back and take off the bolts. Got the bolts for the coolant fan. Cool that right out. And don't forget to take off the electric connector at the bottom on the driver's side front. Okay, this is the, the old one. There's six bolts. This one probably is the hardest. This one right here is probably the hardest one facing the car. It's really in between that where that battery uh, 
tray was. Two at the bottom, three at the top. Okay, this is the new one. Everything looks, it seems to match it real fine. What's good about this one is, I'll give you a new pack of bolts and those hold uh, those little clips there. So you saw those also going to come in handy. Next step, the next step is to uh, just install the radiator. Pretty much the same way you can't uh, take it out. Six bolts, six bolts here, clips, torque them in there. I think it's a uh, 55 inch pounds, and um, attach that uh, electrical connector. Okay, got the cooling fan installed and mounted. It's made in Taiwan, it's uh, from eBay Motors. Um, all the uh, radiator hose. And uh, front cross member. Is the uh, reversal of the um, removal procedure? And you have the uh, six bolts, three here, three here, mounted here. The uh, door lock. And uh, put the grill on. That'll be the next thing after you get the cross member on. Okay. Install the grill. Cooling fan, everything's connected. Uh, electrical connection for the cooling fan. Install the battery tray. You got the relay box open here. The low side relay is the one that failed. So I'm going to connect the battery test this uh, relay on this side and uh, if that works then it could solve the overheating condition on this vehicle. A road test and you know uh, engine idling test you know when it's at operating temperatures it could verify that the repairs are made successful. Okay now I got the relay on the open uh, low side open and hit the switch and we got power to the fan now now the uh, fan works on low side where before we tested it I tested it and uh there's power from the high fan high side had power but there was a uh, fan wasn't coming on the low on the low side it had power to the connector but the fan wasn't working, so this repair solved that problem. It's gonna finish putting the engine together, uh, bleed the cooling system again, and give it a test drive. Okay, I got the system set up to bleed. There's a bleeder screw down there, attach the hose, run it from there to a um, canister to catch it with. Need to pinch this hose here. And uh, pour the fluid in there till it starts pouring out of the uh, hose there. And get the air out the system. Okay. After I had to pinch the hose, pour the coolant in there, close off the uh, bleeder screw. Down there, I don't know if you can see it. Um, topped off the coolant. Now I'm going to start the car, let it run. Get to normal operation temperature and uh, check for any overheating situations. Okay, the engine's at normal operational temperature. It's been running for about 10 minutes now. And the 
cooling fan is operating. the air coming off of it. And it uh, is operating as it should.